my name is Michael Davis. So Mike, can you just tell us what, what it was like to be homeless through the winter? Like, well, um, it was pretty, it was, um, it was a brutal experience. I had to say, but like, I was like literally in survival mode. The um, Christian, the Christian groups that come down and help us on Hanover Street, they do a, they feed us and have meals and all very, very kind people. People you don't really meet every day and they don't want anything, which is not what I'm used to. I'm used to dealing with people that, you know, what can you do for me now kind of people. But these people are just, they get high off of doing nice things for people and treating people how they should be treated. Hope New Hampshire is a wonderfully warm place. It's warm, inviting, friendly. It's a place you can come and commune with friends in a spiritually involved and it endeavors you to seek a hand up out of your situation and it has given me that hand up rather than a hand out. All the funds that come here through New York Life are benevolent and caring and loving in every way and we use them as such in their full potential. Hi, my name is Brad, I'm 45 years old. Um, I first became homeless two years ago in Manchester. Um, before that, I was looking, working for a military contractor and I got laid off. Um, since then, I've been sleeping outside here and there. Um, this is the first winter I actually slept outside all winter in a tent on the north end of town. Me and my girlfriend did. We managed, but it was really cold. Um, other than that, I hate it when it rains, I hate it when it snows, um, and I volunteer here for the past two years because I know what it's like to be homeless. It stinks. When I walk through that door, it's just like, if I have anything that bothers me or anything, it, it, it just clears my mind. It clears my mind and it's, it just feels like home and peace and home and like, it just feels like there's something here that can change your life for, you know, for like a better life. This is a place for me to relax and come to and have peace and prayer. And it gives me hope. I, I've only been in Manchester for about three weeks and this place is a pretty great place. It gives a place for them to get out of the cold, to not be cold all day long, to be warm, have a cup of coffee, meet some great people. I've got nothing but good help. I'm not from the area, and where I'm from, they don't have places like this, and I think everyone deserves a place like this. Well, I came here to this program, and I have a liver problem. It's called the sclerosis of the liver. And these people were nice enough to lay hands on me, give me a healing the best they could to the, you know, their powers. And believe it or not, people, it actually helped me when I went to have blood work done the other day. The doctors couldn't explain what it is, but this place gave me more than my life back. It gave me a future and something to look forward to. Hi, I'm Shelly. I'm 62 years old. Uh, through certain events, I became homeless. And you literally had to carry your stuff around. And I would sit in the park across from the library with my suitcase and my bag. And at one point, I just felt like the little old lady in the park with no place to go. But then through coming here and meeting Henry and just meeting awesome, awesome people, my life's turned around. And then we're just here to pray. So we uh, would like to have a touch for healing in your mind, guys, not just your body. Your mind, your body, your spirit, your relationships. It's, he died on the cross. And it's done. We are totally healed by faith. And now we need to find that out inside. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Jesus came to save and to heal. You'll hear that many times from where around because that's what he did. Save and heal. And healing is for today. It's not high in the sky by and by. In any part, mental, physical, spiritual, whatever you need, he will heal you. As I've said, also said many times, God does not make junk. Maybe the world tells some of us, including me, that you're junk. Well, we're not junk. Nobody's junk. Jesus loves every person, every person, every person. And this is to help people from instead of being in the park, getting high and using drugs, they're here sharing themselves with the Lord and doing positive things. You know, I, I feel like a lot of people have struggled. They don't have anywhere to go during the day. It's cold.